and welcome back everybody for another video this is just a quick update video to show you my lenovo legion 5 setup just to show you how much hardware i have connected to it and that it's performing very well a lot of things running at the same time there you can see a pod mic a special uh, dynamic mic connected to a audio interface the microphone is also connected to a arm of the same brand Rode here you can see a uh, keyboard and mouse connected to the monitor. There's the um, audio interface, which uh, translates the input from the microphone into a digital signal through USB into the laptop. On top there, you can see Philips UE light bars, a ring light to light up the room and my face when I'm recording. There you can see a a mirrorless camera which is connected to a cam link, as you can see here, a Elgato cam link, which is inside of a USB port. There you see the red cable that goes into the uh, camera. There you see all the ports are utilized except for the HDMI and the network port. The laptop is always charging. I have conservation mode on to spare the battery life. And here on the right side, you can see another USB port being utilized by the stand that it's on. So there you go. You can see it's fully uh, loaded. <laughs> uh, the stand, there you can see it. It has a built-in cooler and is powered by the USB cable that is connected to the laptop. I'll show you guys a complete overview of all the hardware connected to it and uh, how the cables are set. I'll insert that right now. All right, here we go. Let's have a look at this crazy monstrosity of a setup for a laptop. This would be pretty normal for a desktop computer, but as I have limited space, I wanted to have a laptop for this specific setup. So of course, let's start out with the stand, which has a built-in cooler. I'll name the brands in the description box below. It's not really important for this video. So we have our uh, base with cooler. Then of course we have the laptop placed on top of that. The main connection to this laptop, the main piece of hardware is the monitor which is connected through a USB-C port. If you want to know why I use this USB-C port, you can watch my other video about uh, connecting this sp specific laptop to a gaming monitor and what issues I ran into and why I had to choose for this cable for the best performance. We have a mirrorless camera connected to the Elgato which goes into the laptop. Then we have the microphone stand and microphone, which is connected to a audio interface, which then again goes into a USB port to translate the audio. We have the 230 watts power supply. We have a simple ring lamp, which just needs power from the USB port, which is powered by the stand. As you can see, it has an extra USB port. Philips UE bars, they are connected through the network through a um, bridge, the Zigbee bridge from uh, Philips UE to sync with the monitor so everything that happens on the monitor is synced into the lights then we have headphones which are connected to the laptop we have a keyboard and mouse which are connected to the screen which then again go into one big port into the laptop so that's quite handy so i've got an extra two usb ports i can utilize so now let's have a look at the crazy wiring bam and you know i mean i still need to work the cables away as you can see, everything's connected to the laptop on have two ports left, the network port and the HDMI port, which I'm not using yet. Of course, the power supply goes to uh, yeah, the power plug. The same goes for the uh, Sony. And then the monitor also has a separate uh, power supply connection that goes into the you know, main power net. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Many more good stuff coming to this channel very soon. I'm working on uh, more videos. So see you guys in the next video.